Hi to everyone, I'm JotaroGujo79 and in this video I'm gonna show you the second part of my PlayStation 4 game collection. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite game on the PS4. But let's start! The first game is Life is Strange, the limited edition. Uh, it's a graphic adventure in third person view. The protagonist, Maxine, has the power of rewind time and every choice she makes causes a butterfly effect. Uh, the game had an episodic release I think there were uh, five episodes and it was very positively reviewed, scoring 85 on Metacritic. The game won also a lot of prizes. Uh, I got this limited edition new for 25 euros. As you can see it's still sealed and I haven't played it yet, but uh, I definitely will one day. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. It's an action adventure stealth video game from the famous Konami franchise. Uh, well, to be precise, this is not really a game, but more or less a demo that was released waiting uh, the fifth chapter of the Metal Gear Fount of Pain. Um, the game was criticized for its price at release compared with the content value. Um, I finished it in one hour and basically it's one mission. Although the graphic and gameplay were really good, um, I paid it 5 euros. Metro Redux. It's a first person shooter set in a post apocalyptic Moscow. This edition contains the remastered version of Metro 2033, previously released for Xbox 360, and Metro Last Light, released also on PS3. Uh, so you have two games in one. And it's only single player, there, there is no multiplayer. The collection scored 83 on Metacritic and this is another game that I haven't played it yet. Um, I paid this copy 10 euros. Mighty number 9. It's an action platform video game. The game was developed based on the crowdfunding and tries to bring back the old Mega Man gameplay. Received mixed reviews, scoring uh, 52 on Metacritic. I bought it recently for 11 euros. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Uh, developed by Monolith, is an open world action adventure game set in the Lord of the Rings universe. I completed this game a few months ago and I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, it's not an, an original game, in fact I will describe it as a mixture between Assassin's Creed and Batman Arkham series gameplay, but managed to combine um, the elements of these two games perfectly and gives a satisfying game gaming experience. I paid this uh, Steelbook Edition 15 euros. NBA 2K14. Uh, well, there is not too much to say about this game. It's a 2K basketball game. It was a gift from a friend of mine. I haven't played it, but I guess it's good as all the new NBA 2K games. Shovel Knight. It's a 2D side-scrolling action platform game with an 8-bit uh, retro aesthetic. The game was critically acclaimed and managed to score 90 on Metacritic. The cool thing about this game is that you can play the cross buy on the Vita. I paid it 15 euros and uh, I think it's worth also because of the cool color uh, manual. And nowadays on the PlayStation 4 there are few games with the color uh, manual. Super Meat Boy is an old school action platformer where you play as an animated cube of meat jumping and running through the levels trying to avoid obstacles. The game received positive reviews scoring 85 on Metacritic. Uh, if I'm not mistaken the game was also in the PlayStation Plus Instant Collection one year ago. Uh, paid it 10 euros. Tear Away Unfolded it's a platform adventure developed by Tarsian Studios and Media Molecule, the creators of Little Big Planet, as a port remake of the 2013 PS Vita game Tear Away. Uh, of course, also the controls were adapted for the PS4 Joypad DualShock. Uh, the most gorgeous thing about this game is the visual and the word design uh, made entirely of paper. The game scored 81 on Metacritic and I paid this new and sealed 8 euros. Tom Clancy's The Division. It's a third-person shooter with RPG elements developed and published by Ubisoft. 
Uh, you can play the single player campaign alone or in co-op with other uh, players and the PvP online multiplayer in specific area of this map, the Dark Zone. Uh, now, I played this game at release for almost one month and I must say that despite the flaws, I really enjoyed it. I had a good time playing in the cop with uh, friends. The game has also a good crafting and loot system that increases the longevity and some friends of mine are still playing it. The Crew it's an arcade racing game, again, a Ubisoft production. It's an always online open world through different regions in the US. Uh, the gameplay is very similar to the Need for Speed series. The game received mixed reviews, scoring a 61 on Metacritic. Uh, I haven't really played it yet, but uh, it was only 6 euros. The Evil Within. It's a third-person survival horror directed by the creator of Resident Evil Shinji Mikami. The game received generally positive reviews, scoring a 75 on Metacritic. I started to play it uh, one year ago, but I couldn't finish it. It's really hard game, even on normal difficulty. Uh, I gave up after dying, uh, I think, 30 times uh, on the same boss. I paid it 10 euros for this uh, steelbook edition. The Walking Dead, Season 1. Uh, it's an interactive adventure developed by Telltale Games based on the comic book series of Robert Kirkman. The first season consists in 5 episodes and I paid this French version only 5 euros. The next one is another Telltale game, The Wolf Among Us, a graphic adventure game based on the Fables comic book series. Uh, the game received good reviews, aggregating 83 on Metacritic. I finished the game some months ago and it was a very easy platinum. Actually, it's my only platinum at the moment. The story was good and really entertaining and if you like Telltale games, I recommend you to play this one. Uh, let me know in the comments how many platinum do you have. This war of mine, The Little Ones. It's a 2D survival war game porting of the original PC game This War of Mine. Uh, what this game does different from other war games is that show us the war from the perspective of the civilians instead of military troops. Uh, scored 78 on Metacritic and the game is until tomorrow free to download for all the Plus members. Toki Den Kiwami it's a third-person action game, very similar to Monster Hunter, where you have to hunt down various monsters during the single-player campaign. Uh, the game scored 75 on Metacritic. It's a cross-save, meaning the saved file uh, can be used for both PS4 and PS Vita. And it's cross-buy, meaning uh, PS4 and PS Vita players can play together online. I paid it only 12 euros and I didn't have the time to play it yet. Tower of Guns. It's a very peculiar first-person shooter with levels that are created randomly and this makes each playthrough unique. Uh, otherwise the game will be very short because it takes only 3 hours to complete uh, a playthrough. Uh, the game scored a 69 on Metacritic and is available also on PS3 and the PS3 version is more expensive that, than this one. I paid uh, 10 euros for this steelbook edition. Unfortunately, the slipcover is missing and there is no title on the spine. And the last one is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. It's a third person action adventure game, the fourth installment in the Uncharted franchise and the first one on PS4. Um, this is one of the best rated game on the system, scoring 93 on Metacritic. Naughty Dog managed once again to push to the limit the PlayStation hardware. The graphics of this game looks amazing and it took me uh, 12 hours to complete the single player campaign. Uh, the multiplayer was also funny but um, overall I still prefer the experience I had with the second chapter. Let me know in the comment uh, which is your favorite Uncharted. So this was it for today. If you liked the video, clicking the like button is not a bad idea. And if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on my channel. 
watch also my previous videos if you miss them and see you next time.